everyone. Welcome back. Uh, it is OBG, and we are back with our Zero to Hero series, and today is the day where we are going to reveal the full plan to get us to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren um, in not record time, but efficient time, um, and uh, go forward with that. Uh, before we get there, let's take a quick roster review. Um, we are level 46. We are at day 9 of this account. Um, our total power is 13.445 thousand. We've got a bunch of three stars, uh, two three stars. Dark Troopers lagging behind, obviously. Um, four star Stormtrooper, four star Magna Trooper. We've done nothing with the Rebels since uh, the last episode. A uh, couple of changes that we have made. Uh, we have moved Moff Gideon on to the Cantina farm because we've unlocked his Cantina node at level 46. Uh, so we have taken him off of the hard mode farms and we have put uh, First Order Stormtrooper in there, not because he's important, but because, I mean, he is important long term, but short term he is not important to our team, but he is someone that we do need eventually and he's the only other guy we need eventually that's currently available to farm from the hard notes. So, um, on Arena, we have climbed to a high of 137 in Arena, and um, we obviously fall back down pretty quickly from there. Uh, we're at 147 right now after doing our three early fights, and uh, as you can see, we have we are getting 800-ish uh, Arena, arena uh, tokens per day, which puts us on pace to get Princess Leia to seven stars in about seven and a half days. She is 148 shards away from seven stars. Uh, we are getting 20 a day uh, with two buys, uh, 10 apiece, and so she's about seven and a half days away from that 148 that she needs. So, and she'll be our first star when she gets there. So next week, uh, one more week, and we'll be having a seven star, and that will open up a lot more things for us to start doing uh, with the squad as far as uh, income goes. So let's take a look at the farming plan. So here's what we have. Uh, I have put a link to this shared spreadsheet uh, in uh, the comments, or sorry, in the in the in the description. So if you want to check this out personally or you want to make a copy of it or whatever, I will keep this updated, adding new tabs as I make adjustments or changes to it. Um, as far as I know, uh, no one else is really doing this right now. I have not, I created this personally and the impetus for this is uh, the recent changes by CG which made Galactic Legends effectively their own class of character. They are not supposed to be beaten by anyone else. They don't care about anything but Galactic Legends. It's obvious that all that matters is GLs at this point. So we are ignoring Legendaries for the most part. If we get them on the way, fine. But unlike the traditional uh, farming roadmaps that have you go in Phoenix or Separatist for Padme, Legendaries, Yoda, uh, etc., we are only grabbing them if they're on the way to where we're going. So if we're in the neighborhood, grab them, great. But our primary goal is to have the most competitive arena teams at all times um, and to get to the most competitive or dominant teams long term, which is Galactic Legends. So we start out with our arena farm. I mean, sorry, our uh, Imperial Trooper farm. Uh, Gideon, Dark Trooper, Colonel Stark, Storm Trooper, Mega Trooper, Pyatt, and Veers. Um, and these are uh, where they come from, etc. Um, once we have, and the basic plan that I have with this is I'm going to go down this list from top to bottom um, and buy where I can where it's available. So, for instance, Guild Store Farm is Stark right now. When he finishes, I'll go to Obi Wan and Farm Boy Luke. Arena Store is Princess Leia. When she finishes, I'll go to Tarkin and Akbar. Um, Galactic War is Magna Trooper. When he finishes, First Order Tie Fighter um, and Captain Phasm, etc. So. Um, as a general rule, Galactic War is the easiest currency to get. Um, Arena Store is next. Those two are the ones that you generally have tons of at the end game. They don't have any uh, uh, equipment in it to buy later, so spend it while you got it, whatever. Uh, Fleet Store has a lot of units in it, 
so it's more of a add-on. Um, it is really tough to get something only out of the fleet store, uh, which is part of our problem for first order TIE pilot, but we'll probably try him in fleet store and we'll probably have to do some uh, uh, node farming for him as well. Um, so once we have finished the Imperial Troopers, we go into the Rebels. Um, the reason for the Rebels, even though they have absolutely nothing to do with the long-term farm of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, is it gets us CLS, Commander Luke Skywalker, and he is a very dominant early arena player, and we want to keep our crystal income up. If we go with First Order, they aren't great in arena, and if we go directly uh, to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, we miss out on all of those arena shards along the way, and we're bloating our GP without any ability to really fight in GAC because we don't have any strong teams. Troopers and Rebels are two very strong teams long-term. Uh, well, Rebels aren't strong, but CLS is strong. Um, and with this plan, I'm investing in troops that I need or I want instead of going with a Phoenix farm and then throw them away and never use them again after you unlock Thrawn. Or going with a Separatist farm, throw them away, never use them again after you get Padme, etc. So, once we have finished the Rebels, we start into our Supreme Leader Kylo Ren section. Um, and our primary goal here is to get the ships going. Um, Finalizer is our one of our long straw farms because he is only every three weeks and you have to get him unlocked and set up quickly so uh we have the requirements for for uh, finalizer which is silencer first order tie fighter kylo ren's command shuttle which is a super long and hard farm uh tie advance for uh, a vader's uh, ship houndstooth xanadu blood and slave one um, so we're going to try to get those quickly as possible um, and we're also going to use those for our fleet arena so that we can try to climb in fleet arena and get more crystal income to continue to fund our free-to-play experience. Um, the pilots are here with them as well. Um, all of these pilots are required for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, Kylo, Captain Phasma, and First Order Stormtrooper are all required for the command shuttle to run. So obviously that's going to be one of our last add-ons. I... Um, I don't know how far we can get with the finalizer if we need all seven to even start, but we'll see exactly how that works once we get to that point of unlocking it. Uh, we may have to make some adjustments and move some things up here in the list, um, but this is primarily our, um, our fleet plan for our main fleet, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, these are just uh, the uh, Akbar and Tarkin are the um, capital ship uh, captains uh, they're really easy in arena store so i toss them in here because there's not a ton else you really want in arena store other than ig88 um, and then bounty hunters you're going to need houndstooth xanadu blood and slave one for finalizer so you might as well toss in a uh, fourth one uh, in ig200 in order to get millennium falcon um, and then you have to have their pilots which is bosk uh, ig88 Cad Bane and Boba Fett, and if you have those four, you might as well toss in a fifth in Django because he's going to be farmed with Houndstooth or on the same node. Um, that'll give you your five for Chewie, and uh, Chewie's great for CLS, so you're in the general vicinity, so that's why we go into Bounty Hunters. Uh, then we pick up the rest of the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren requirements, which make the rest of our first order team. It's not super uh, exciting down here. Um, they're all required. Uh, two of them are hard node farms, Sith Trooper and uh, General Hux. And Executioner and uh, Han are cantina farms. And execution and uh, Officer is a cantina store farm. So uh, we'll toss those in as we get there. They don't matter until we get to SLKR, and we have a lot of time for that. So we have a total of... Let me find my notes here. Uh, we have a total of one, two, three, four. We have a total of four uh, hard node farms that are single drops. Um, and that is Dark Trooper, uh, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, Houndstooth, and Xanadu Blood. Um, all four of those are single drops. And a single drop hard node farm will take you about six months. Our plan is to do three hard node farms at a time. Um, so those four are a combined 24 months uh, total. 
and uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, accelerated farms uh, that, that are double drops. Um, those are Pyatt, Veers, uh, First Order Stormtrooper, Bosk, uh, Sith Trooper, and General Hux. Um, and Bosk should not be in this list because he's farmed. Uh, sorry, he's, he's separate. Um, so those are all double drop farms, and those six will take a combined 18 months um, at some point, you should get a Bronzium drop for Veers that should take a, about a month off of that. Um, so I estimated uh, 24 months for the hard note for the uh, single drop farms and 17 months for the accelerated farms, which brings us to a total of 41 months. Um, if we do three per, three per, uh, three at a time, that will take us almost a year to do all the hard node farms. So. That's when we're looking at finishing um, uh, the complete farm, is that. Um, the finalizer ships, which are uh, Kyle Irwin's Command Shuttle, uh, Houndstooth, and Xanadu Blood, actually only need to be six stars for finalizer. Um, but we'll go ahead and get them to seven because that's probably not going to be our long straw anyways. Um, the sooner we can get finalizer to six, the sooner we can get... Uh, everybody else finished and we do have to get a ton of relic sevens and relic fives so we have a lot of gear farming to do as well i doubt we will be done in 12 months i'm expecting 14 to 16 months uh before we get our first supreme leader kylo ren uh, uh we get supreme leader kylo ren unlocked and then a little longer than that to get all the all the upgrades and all the energy blah 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 for him so uh but we should see him probably in our roster in about 15, 16 months. That is my estimate based on this farming path and what we're going to be doing. And that includes, uh, you know, the, 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 the side discussion here. We could probably get there earlier, um, but we would not have the crystals to do the re refreshes. We wouldn't have a strong arena team. We wouldn't have um, a strong GAC team because we would be going straight to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And I've seen many rosters in um, – GAC that have gone directly for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and they're very weak rosters. They're very top-heavy, a lot of relics, and but they're not good quality teams. Uh, Imperial Troopers is a top-tier team all the way to the end. Uh, CLS is a top-tier team all the way to the end. Um, I mean, it's not Malik. It's, uh, um, you know, not a, a uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren or other Galactic Legend. Um, but I think, I personally think right now, uh, the Malik Reven team is the strongest non-GL um, team out there. And after that, it's just GLs. So you do miss out on that. If we find ourselves in a situation where we have a ton of extra time, maybe we toss in uh, a uh, Darth Reven Malik farm. Um, I don't think gas is worth going for anymore. Uh, he is much weaker than he used to be. And I don't think it's really great to keep going for him. Uh, I also don't necessarily... Uh, JKR is still really strong in the early game, but you have troopers and you have CLS in the early game, and JKR does fall off significantly in the late game once you start seeing Maliks and Reapens out there. So, that is our plan for the farm. I hope everyone uh, enjoys this. Feel free to nitpick it. Tell me what's wrong. Uh, if you see an error, if you see something I've missed, please comment or message me and let me know. Um, feel free to make a copy of this. I will keep it updated. As I said, what I'm going to do is as I make a change, I'll make a new tab here and label it version 1 or version 2 or version 3 or whatever um, as I have to make changes to it. And um, I look forward to the feedback. And feel free to use this, share this, try this yourself, um, you know, pick it apart, whatever you guys want to do with it. Um, it is here for your enjoyment. And I may be completely wrong. This may be stupid. But like I said, um, Galactic Legends are all that matter now in Star Wars. So if you're a new player, getting to a Galactic Legend as fast as possible should be your farming plan. And is it a direct run to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren like a lot of people recommend? Or is it a uh, something a little bit different? Um, they do give you troopers now. They give you Moff Gideon and Dark Trooper. And, you know, so it's fairly easy to bring up an Imperial Trooper squad, and they're really strong. I mean, I'm punching up six, 8,000 in Arena without issue at all. Extra stars. When I catch up on stars, there's nothing in the Arena that's going to hold me back until I start hitting um, the other, you know, the Hyperdrive and, and Pay players. Like, there's no free-to-play that's going to hold up to this. 
on uh, in Arena once you catch up on Stars. And everybody's running Phoenix right now. Everything I see in Arena is Phoenix. All these people are wasting their time building Phoenix, and they're going to throw them away. They're never going to use them again once they get to get, get to about level 80, 82 and get uh, Palpatine and um, – what's his face? Uh, Palpatine and Thrawn unlocked. So what's the point in building something that you're never going to want to keep using? Build things that help you and that grow your squad and grow your roster and that are competitive in-game. The idea of building something that you're never going to use again is stupid. So that's where we are. Um, I look forward to the feedback. OBG out.